Hey guys, uh, so this week's going to be short and sweet because uh, I can't do a long video today, but um, let's just get to it. Um, so we'll go kind of the usual thing, we'll go through wins losses, uh, who won, who lost this week, matchup wise, and then we'll go to standings, and then we'll go into next week, um, and I'll tell you who I think I was going to win, even though, I mean... Who really knows anymore? Uh, everyone's so even that it's crazy. But, um, so we'll go. First game, we have Max beat Amber. <clears throat> Good job, Max. Uh, Amber had a couple no-shows. St. Brown uh, for the Detroit Lions did not get any points. And then she left to Waller and when she, he was injured at zero points for her, too. But Swift was the highest. Swift's having a great year. He had 27.2 uh, points. Uh, Max uh, didn't need his defense, apparently, because he just left in Buffalo's defense, and they're on a bye, but still won. Uh, he had great games with Evans and Harris. Um, 28 points for Evans, big game against the Bears. And then Harris, the running back for New England, uh, big game against the Jets. Uh, next we have Christian beat Amory. Sorry, Amory again. Uh, he lost, but maybe next week. Um, really, Tua with the stand-in game for Christian. I think he was the best quarterback this week. Um, 26.94. Uh, also, New England's defense against the Jets, very well done. Um, but Amory's, uh, Williams and Gibson, both are running backs, not so much, and when both your running backs don't get the points, uh, you're pretty much ready to lose. Next we have Wook beating Connor, uh, close game, uh, I think the closest game by six and a half points. Cup by Luke, but I don't know what he's doing. You should probably tech him for Royds or something, because he's having an amazing year. Another 30-point game, 32.6. Amazing. Um, but also, Brown had 23.3 also. Um, and then Connor uh, put A.G. Dillon in, 0.4. Not great. Um, Henderson. Uh, no, not Henderson. Johnson, 2.6. Not great, but... Tampa Bay gave you some points, but it wasn't enough to beat Luke. Sorry about that. Um, and then Metcalf, that one, did that one big catch, and then fell off the planet Earth, I think. I didn't really watch the game. But next we have Daniel beating Jorge. Um, that was close till the end. Uh, good move by Daniel putting that Uzumoa. Tight end for the Bengals. Uh, what a game he had. Uh, it might have been his best game ever, maybe second for a second. I don't know, but good plug-in for him. Then we have uh, Jorge. Ruggs didn't great. Henderson didn't great. Um, but Stafford did really well for you, but once again, not enough to beat Daniel. Uh, next game, we have Rod beating Ryan um, by 12.29 points. His uh, best people were Johnson, uh, that pickup uh, this weekend, Kyle Pitts. Um, Ryan, Hubbard didn't do well, Sutton didn't do well. He started out good, it looked like. Uh, Goodwin was your best scorer, um, but I didn't get the win. Then we have Sebastian beating me by a lot. Uh, good game by Sebastian. Um, I did not score any. Uh, Chase killed me. Same with Kamara. But in Lockett, uh, my whole team was shit. Besides Jackson. Um, I am the loser this week. Yeah, 74.78 points. Not great by me. Uh, my team's going downhill. Not great. Um, probably not going to repeat now. But that's my problem, not your guys'. <laughs> um... The highest were Sebastian, who I played, obviously, uh, 146, and then Daniel, good week by him, 131. Uh, next we have uh, standings. 
We have two five and two teams, Daniel and Luke. Daniel's one, Luke's two. Then we have a bunch of four and three teams um, going from points um, four all the way down is Jorge, then Connor, Christian, Sebastian, Max, and I am last in four and three. And then we have one three and four team, Amber. Uh, we have then two two and five teams, Rod and Ryan, and then Amory at one and six, bringing up the rear. But matchups obviously killing her. Uh, most points against her. But, and then, let's see, last section we have to go through is uh, next week. Uh, so we have week eight. So we have Sebastian versus Max. Um, also, the projections don't really matter because everyone's going to be tinkering their lineup um, here and there, so... Who knows? Uh, so Sebastian versus Max. Um, Max is projected to win by eleven, but once again, these projections don't matter. Um, there's like they're like points, and who's why is it anyways? Where you get as many points you win, but they don't they don't matter at all. Um, next, we have Ryan versus Daniel. Uh, Ryan is projected to win at one sixteen. Um, we have Luke versus Jorge. Um, Jorge has a lot, for like a lot of buys because he's projected seventy six point six. Um, so he'll probably fill in people and stuff like that. Uh, Christian versus Connor. Um, I think Christian or Connor. A uh, Connor is projected uh, to be Christian by four. Um, those are pretty high projections, so maybe they have their starting lineups already set. Amory versus Amber. Uh, Amory's favored in that one by a decent amount. Maybe this is Amory's week. Uh, then myself versus Rod. Um, and Rod is projected to beat me as well. Uh, my projections, who's going to win? I think Max. I think, I'm not looking at the lineups. I'm just going based on... I guess gut. Um, so I'll go with Sebastian. Sorry, Max. Uh, I'll go with Ryan um, with Mahomes having a bounce back game. Um, going with Whoop because it sounds like Jorge has a lot of buys. That's going to be tough. Um, Christian Connor. I think I'm going to go with Connor's team. Amory and Amber. I think Amory. I'm never going to bet against myself. So I have confidence in my team. Maybe you'll pull it out. If you don't, I'm going to give it a good college try. If not, I'll drink a lot Sunday. So win-win, uh, I guess. Uh, so I'm going to project myself to win. Um, thanks, guys. I know it's short um, compared to other ones, but good luck, everyone, sex, except uh, Rod. Um, and uh, be safe out there.